On Vancouver Island, more than a dozen people are the proud owners of brand new condos tonight. They picked up their new homes in a property auction today after the weakened economy forced initial investors to walk away from their deposits. We have this report for you tonight from Czech News. Maureen and Doug Hobbs are shopping for a bargain. They're two of the hundreds who've heard about the auction of 40 suites at Reflections a swanky condo and retail project in Langford. The price is, price is right. I think it's a good investment. It, it is good, a good opportunity, but a good investment too. They're impressed by the premium appliances, granite countertops and high ceilings. And they're well aware of the bind the developer is in after 30 initial investors decided to walk away, losing their deposits, some possibly in excess of $40,000. Yeah, I think the developer is doing what he has to do. He probably has a pretty large mortgage and there's a lot of empty suites here. Peter Gaby is a listing realtor. He admits an auction is unusual, but it was time to do something aggressive. I, I know that they'll be uh, looking and exploring um, uh, creative uh, ways of uh, selling their uh, uh, excess inventory. The move by the owner of this condo is just a reflection of a struggling economy. Not far away, the Capella high-rise project on Bear Mountain is on hold. So too is Phase 3 of Victoria's Dockside Green. And work on the Hudson has slowed considerably. The Reflections units have a reserve. Even so, some could be getting discounts of as much as $140,000. Are those who bought early and moved in upset with a cut-rate auction? I don't feel ripped off. I, I think I paid top dollar here. <laughs> but no, I don't feel ripped off. I think uh, some people get other breaks. The developers had hoped to sell about half of the 40 units. When the auction closed, only 15 condos were sold.